Covering St. George tonight, this November, millions of young voters could play a key role in deciding who wins the presidential election. They are Gen Z voters, people under 27 years of age. A recent USA Today story says there are more than 40 million of them. With the Republican and Democratic National Conventions over, Liv Kelleher went to Utah Tech to find out what's on the mind of this critical voting group. I spoke with students from across the political spectrum here at Utah Tech today. Republicans, Democrats, independents, and those who don't identify with any political label. Having somebody that is closer to the younger end is really, really pleasing, and it's a lot easier to be like, yeah, I'm going to look at what's happening in voting. Natalia Cervantes is a Utah Tech student and the president of the Young Democrats Club. She's confident in who she's voting for. I am going to be voting for Kamala Harris. But knows that a lot of people her age don't share her political conviction. Because there's so much clutter going on with it. Jackson King is choosing not to vote. He says the threat of AI, misinformation, and tension on social media make it difficult for him to decipher fact from fiction. I feel like any time I get on social media, like your Instagram, your TikTok, it's just one side bashing the other side as hard as they can just for it to come right back at them. Corbin Arnold is the president of the Young Republicans Club. He says if Gen Z continues to think independently. I think we'll see like a lot more centrist ideas coming out and people will just stop like hating each other for being of the opposite political party. These college voters are hopeful this election will result in changes to issues they care about. Economics, gas prices, housing prices. I would really like to see a freer market than we've seen in the last four years because obviously prices have just gone way up. Definitely women's rights um, and just overall freedom of speech and just freedom. Um, I believe that this country was built on the right foundations. Jillian Morrison, the woman that you last saw, said she was shocked when she learned how many of her classmates were not registered to vote. She said it's disappointing, but she's hopeful that that can change in the next coming months leading up to this election. In St. George, Liv Kelleher, KUTV 2 News.